Do you know that Suez has built or operates over 10,000 plants throughout the world in order to meet consumer needs? Building and operating is the win-win duo ensuring we optimize the plants we operate and capitalize on this experience when building new ones. Explanation Every day we share our different experiences throughout the world in order to build and operate the plants entrusted to us. Here's an example. One day, Ms. Wilson, the operating manager of one of our desalination plants in Australia, received a call from Mr. Lopez, who is building a similar plant in Mexico. Mr. Lopez asked Ms. Wilson some questions about the operation of the Australian plant with the view to helping him build his own facility. This very helpful conversation enabled him to fine-tune the design of his own plant. So, the experience gained by operating the Australian facility helped the plant building process in Mexico. There are hundreds of such cases of sharing experiences like this. We can compare this with a series of virtuous circles throughout the world. In the Netherlands, where we create energy from waste, in France, where industrial water is treated, in India, where we reuse wastewater, and in China, where sludge is transformed into fuel. All these examples enable us to design better plants, optimize and operate them at the best possible cost. And all of this is achieved while preserving resources sustainably and ensuring the highest safety conditions for property and people. Because, as we know, in these ultra-sophisticated plants, the smallest detail can negatively affect the whole facility at any time and generate a risk for the local community, the natural environment or the personnel. That's why it's essential to have an experienced operator who knows how the plant was designed and how to run it. But that's not all. Sharing experiences drives innovation. Why? Because, in our various plants, we have to tackle specific issues connected with our customers' needs. And the way we go about this often results in us finding small and large-scale innovations. Look, here's a sewage treatment plant in Jordan. To meet energy-saving requirements, it was designed to produce more than 80% of its electricity power needs thanks to turbines placed downstream and upstream of the plant and biogas produced from sludge. A genuine solution in terms of resources preservation. Yes, in order to secure resources, you need the right people at the right place. But we also need to be innovative, pioneering and on the cutting edge of technology in order to make our plants more energy efficient, extend their life cycle, reduce the overall cost of building and operation, increase the use of their available capacity. This is where the shared experience of Suez operators and constructors comes into its own in order to meet tomorrow's major challenges.